had a job as an end of missions they go to strip joint. And there were only two people on the bill, this female impersonator and me. And when I came out and sang, embrace me, my sweet embraceable you, everybody thought I was an impersonator. He was so gorgeous, I looked like a dog next to him or her. Um, but you're in love with me yet? Oh. Look. Let me give you a little advice, okay? I mean, it's okay with me because I have a kind of show business background, but I wouldn't tell that particular story if you were trying to impress some other guy. Why? Is it funny? Well, sort of. But it's not exactly a turn on to refer to yourself as a the. <laughs> Where are my pants? <laughs> you look much cuter without them. Oh no! You put my suit in the freezer? <laughs> what a thing to do to my favorite suit! <laughs> it was just a joke. <laughs> it's cold. <clears throat> God, I just. Oh. Ah. <coughs> I'm gonna get pneumonia! <laughs> Let me put them in the oven. No, no, don't touch me. Don't touch. Please. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Where are my shoes? Are you sure you had shoes when you came in? <laughs> oh no. You put my shoes in the bathtub? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. They're gonna be soaking wet. You know, I don't know if you can sense this, but you're beginning to get on my nerves. That's irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> it's irrelevant that you're beginning to get on my nerves? You know, you're a real looney tune. It's irrelevant because you're obviously crazy about me. And that's why I don't take this attempt at rejection seriously. <coughs> Look here, this blue blouse, or whatever the hell your name is. This is not an attempt at rejection. <laughs> this is rejection. The real thing. The real McCoy. The Bronx cheer. Your mind is made up about this? My mind is completely made up. And you're actually going to leave? I'm going to actually walk out that door, out of your life, forever and ever, in space. I see. You know, even though I have to leave, I'd still like us to be friends or something. But I know that that's really going to be impossible. Because I don't have any friends that I've had really good sex with. Do you know what I mean? Sure. Well, I'm glad that you put all that in perspective because now I can leave gracefully without either of us losing our dignity. Merry Christmas. Oh, Vito, when you get home, would you do me a small favor? When you get home later tonight, I'd like you not to go to sleep right away. I'd like you to just sit up for a while and think about what took place between us. Would you do that? Absolutely. And then I like you to insert a large firecracker in your behind and then light it. <laughs> now that was hostile. Up to now you've been just plain goofy, but that was totally hostile. <clears throat> you know what? I'm glad you did that. Because now I can leave feeling like the good guy. Thank you for that. I'm leaving now. Goodbye. Hey, the door seems to be stuck. Could you come over here and help me open it? I can't open it. It's locked from the outside. What do you mean it's locked from the outside? How can it be locked from the outside? Come on over here and open it. <coughs> While you were napping after we made love, I went outside and I locked the door. And then I climbed up to the roof, came down the ladder, crawled along the ledge, 
and climbed in the window. And then I kicked the ladder into the alley. Look, don't be ridiculous. They don't make doors that only lock from the outside. Now get over here and open this door, please. Well, I had a special lamp put on my door because I knew that one day I'd get a great castle like you up here and I would let you out. <laughs> okay, that's it. Get over there and open that door. Get it open, let me get out of here, I've got to go. Get that door open. I've got the telephone call, and you can scream all you want, and no one will hear you. The apartment is soundproof for centuries. Men have resisted loving good women. Now you are going to make it up to me all the justices that women have suffered at the hands of men throughout history. What are you, a psycho? <laughs> what is this, a political statement or something? Look, let me in on the joke, and I'll laugh too, okay? Mm, I got it. One of my friends put you up to this, didn't he? And I know who. Little Vicki Wahlberg, right? This is his kind of humor. Warped. Well, I'm just going to leave quietly. And it's time. I got a lot of Christmas shopping to do. The stores are going to close. So just get over there. And open that door for me. Please. Do whatever you have to. Climb out the window. Go over the roof. Whatever. The door is open. It was open all the time. You locked yourself in. You actually believe that I had a special lock put on my door just to trap you? And that I climbed up on the roof and came down a ladder into my window? You actually believe that? And you called me a fruit cake? <laughs> <clears throat> you know, I think I finally got it now. Because things didn't go your way, you came up with this little game called Let's Get Beatles Go. Well, I got a hot flash for you. I'm not going to see you lose my, lose, lose, lose my cool. I'm just going to leave quietly. The joke's over, the game's over. And guess who loses? You! I was hoping to stop you with reason or humor, so I wouldn't have to use the gun. Gun? What gun? <laughs> this gun in my pocket. That looks like a finger. <laughs> I didn't get you to believe anything. You are one bona fide dummy. I don't know what it is I see in you. <clears throat> You're going to see the toe of my shoe if you don't move away from that door. Well, all right. But it's silly for you to leave now the way it's snowing. Must be six inches out there. You'll never get a cab. Then you get on the radio. Holy shit, where'd all the snow come from? You mean it is snowing? I was just making it up. But there's an actual blizzard out there. <laughs> You're not going to be able to leave. It's a miracle. <laughs> the whole universe wants me to win. You're a dead duck, Big Nolly. Okay, look. I tried to leave quietly without anybody get hurt. But no, you wouldn't let me. Well, I'm going to tell you something. I don't like you. I don't need you. I don't even want to know you. <clears throat> yeah, Tommy, Vito Pignoli here. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's going on. I saw it. A lot of snow. Say, listen, Tommy, I need a uh, limousine right away. <coughs> you don't have any? None? No. Never mind. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> 